All right, I have six minutes on my phone. Yeah, I don't. I'll talk about transportation talk maybe in the remaining like five minutes. Um, yeah. So Peter Jackson will give some my top three cards for the movie to direct my movie. They're gonna be my co my co executive producers, my uh, my co writers, and my directors for the movie. Peter will pay him his eighty five million base for the movie, which is like a one hundred million dollar New Zealand deal. That's good enough for him, and I'll pay him uh, four fifty million dollars of the of the box office receipts, and I'll give him. Eighty million dollars on the merch receipts. I went with a hundred million. I'm like, no, Peter, man, you're fucking greedy, man. Eighty million dollars is enough. Okay, stop being greedy. <laughs> I want double that, Ivan. I'm like, no, Peter, I'm not gonna pay you double. Four hundred million dollars is a boatload of money. The records don't make us in Hollywood. You signed a five eighty Canadian, seven hundred million New Zealand deal. You're being greedy, Peter. Stop. And if he's really greedy, I can pay him a bit more. I can give him ninety million dollars of the merch. And maybe four twenty five million dollars of the of the of the box office. That way he makes like seven or five million if he wants and he's New Zealand money, but it's enough money. And Mel will pay him one eighty million dollars of the mer of the uh, box office uh, royalties, twenty five million dollars of the merch royalties, and a uh, uh, fifty six million base salary. It's good enough for Mel Gibson. The question is, who's better for the job, Mel or Peter? I don't know. Somebody tells me I'll choose Mel, but somebody tells me I might choose Peter, but Peter's a fantasy guy. Ivan, what's your heart telling you? My heart's telling me Mel's the guy, but something tells me the majority are going to go with Peter. And if the majority go with Peter, that's probably a, a big sign that I should hire Peter over Mel. Ivan, I know Mel's a gifted director and passion price of masterpiece, but he's not a fantasy guy, Ivan. Peter's a fantasy guy. I think you should go with Peter, Ivan. I'm like, yeah, you're right, man. Peter is a fantasy Yeah, he's a fantasy guy, Ivan. But here's the thing, though, man. Even though Mel's very talented, I think he's better for the job. I think Mel might be the guy. If Peter can do what he did for Lord of the Rings and he has lost his touch, Peter's movie might, will most likely be the better movie. Because Lord of the Rings is better than Passion of Christ, right? It's a better movie than Passion of Christ. That's my point. A mad Passion of Christ is a mad. It's a powerful story. Some Sarah. That's why they're both really good. I don't know. I I go I go I go with Peter because I don't go say I choose Peter. Okay, fine. I choose Peter. I don't hate him. I'm saying Peter has to help me. He's like, I got the job. You got the job, father. I got the job. Yeah, his kids are all joining for joy. He he, he now has grandkids. <laughs> he has up crazy to some extent. When he did Lord of the Rings, his kids were like four or five years old, and now he has grandkids. It's fucking crazy. Thirty years since he did Lord of the Rings, right? Thirty plus. Years. I don't know. It's twenty twenty nine. Twenty. It's like twenty thirty when I start the process for Sky Source. Zayn sketch released in like 2033, right? I, uh, I, I hired Peter around like 2030. 2030, yeah. So that's like eight years from now. Or nine years from now. Obviously. Peter Jackson's like 69 now, yeah. Peter Jackson will be in his 70s when he directs Zayn. So he's, he's, he's older. He's older. He's older now. That's why I need him working out. Like, Peter, you're not as young as you used to be. I need you working out. Because Peter will be like in his late sixties or early seventies, like seventy around there. Late sixties to early seventies by the time he directs Zanus. Hence why he'll be he'll still be able to do the work, but it'll be a bit the work is a bit tougher for him. But he's older now. Hence why I need you it doesn't hurt Peter to take walks with your wife Frank, get him a little tour around Vancouver. It doesn't hurt to go biking. It doesn't hurt to work out a little bit in the gym. You don't have to do your weights, but like go on the go on the tram, we'll do a nice fifty minute jog or a fifty minute walk, go swimming. Get in shape. Ivan, I'm fine. I'm like, Peter, you're not as young as you used to be. In Lord of the Rings, you were 38. You were in your late 30s. Now you're, like, pushing 70. You're not as young as, yeah, Ivan, my, my body's, my body's kind of done now. Yeah, I'm not as young as I used to be. So, yeah, the work is a bit tougher on him. But it'll still work hard for me, honestly. Sarah? Yeah. It'll still work hard for me, honestly. Please you guys help me co-write the script. Obviously, do the concert arts, sign the four groups of crewmen, and he has to help me with the main business call. So, hotel, the Burgeon Tech Hotel party, the two day party, obviously, the red carpet event, the cameras, the crew for the cameras, the costumes, armor, and weapons machines for the mask, the visual effects technology for the visual effects team, obviously, the food and the kitchen equipment. He has to help me with all that, obviously. And he has to take his notes every time. Where every time he we're done concert arts, when he goes back to the hotel, he has to take his notes. Have get a motor help you out, and have your wife friend help you out. George, you're more than welcome to help him out if you want to. It's in there. Obviously. 
Oh, if he was not stressed out. Obviously. Because I'm getting the high, the best stuff, you're probably looking at like 35 to $40 million for the visual effects. For the core for the visual effects. You want to get the best, best stuff. Pip everything out completely, you have, it'll cost you maybe $40 million on the budget. Now, now I have five six million dollars going towards visual effects. But there's a good chance you're looking at a good maybe 70, 65 million dollars left over in the budget. That I can put maybe $50 million towards visual effects. So you're now back to 610. So we'll put a good 203. About around there, 203 million towards each of the volumes. Obviously, some Zara. Towards each of the volumes, obviously. Or I might do a thing where I put the most money towards volume three, because volume three, you have the war. Now, you don't have to do that. Two hundred million dollars more than that money. Put an equal amount of money towards each volume, that way you get the same quality. There's nothing worse than putting more money towards volume three, and you notice how volume one, volume two, there's a. There's, there's, you, you see a drop in quality for the for the technology. And that's why I put an equal amount of money towards each of the movies. So I put six hundred ten million dollars towards visual effects, that's about two or three million each, right? Around there. Put two or three towards volume one, two or three towards volume two, and two or three towards volume two. Two hundred million towards each volume I mean, it's like holy shit. I have like for for Fellowship Room, we only put thirty million dollars towards visual effects. Yeah, holy shit, your comedy bowls out of the water. Looking at an unheard of world, Ivan. Yeah, he's like he's shocked. He's like, holy shit, you're calling those out of the water. Yeah. I have, who's your partner, by the way? Uh, who, who's just right? Yeah, Amazon. Amazon. Oh yeah, Amazon's worldwide, Ivan. They're in Australia. They're in New Zealand. You know what I'm saying? They're in Austria. They're in India. They're in they're in China. They're in Japan. They're in they're in South Korea, North Korea, North Korea. They're all over Europe. They're in North America. They're in Mexico, Ivan. They're in South America. It's a good company, Ivan. What's the deal, by the way? I'm like, up here, I, I, I'm not going to tell you. Are you getting a bigger chunk of the pie? Of course I am, Peter. You already know. Some of you would have said that. I already took it. I know, Peter. I'm not going to give you a bigger chunk of this money. You're fucking greedy, man. Yeah. Is it like Amazon Prime? I don't know, Peter. 4K Blue. Oh, 4K Blue. Like a box set? I'm like, yeah, for your box set. Holy shit, I have a box set, huh? I even, like, you're looking at under experience at home. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But yeah, Peter, I thought of building a theater chain, but it's just going to cost you. I even. A theater chain will be was too expensive, Ivan. Mean, like, I mean, don't do that. You're just wasting money. It'll cost you billions of dollars. That'd be cool, but it will it'll cost you billions of dollars. I won't even, I won't, chances are I won't even be able to afford to. I'm only going to make probably $9 billion off Linux. Yo, Ivan, mean, just sign with Amazon. Amazon has all the resources for you, Ivan. They can distribute your movie worldwide. They can create your merch. So, Ivan, mean, your deal like with Amazon for the merch, I will be yeah, the merch will be yeah, they're going to cre create my merch. Well, you sell for your merch, by the way. Yeah, Peter, I'm going to sell like six posters. Five elbows. Oh, elbows like on Lord of the Rings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I might sell a Joe pipe. I might, I might sell T-shirts. T-shirts, obviously, and perhaps toys. Toys, huh? But yeah, but I'm, I probably should stick to T-shirts. T-shirts, mugs, ale mugs, and like posters. I'll sell like hats, toques, sweaters, and T-shirts. Obviously, and I can sell. Amazon can create all that. Obviously, I can't even try that with the merch. I'm like, no, period. Eighty million dollars is enough. Stop being greedy, man. You're fucking greedy pig. Yeah. Obviously. Yo, Ivan, if the world puts money into a theater system, looking at an honor of experience at home, Ivan. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Ivan, like, like the experience for your movies is better at the theaters, Ivan. The technology is better at the theaters because the, the because everyone who watches the movies at home, obviously. In the theatrical experience, they're seeing it in the 4K Blu-ray experience, whereas theaters, it's HD. Yeah, it's Hence Why Scratch is burned in Hollywood. The only thing that's... The theater experience is obviously cooler, but the technology experience is better in my company than Hollywood because you're watching the movie in a theatrical... Like, think about this. In a the, home theatrical experience in 4K is better than a theatrical experience in HD, if that makes any sense, right? Yeah. Like, Peter, do you have a theater system? No, I don't have a theater system. I, mean, I, Peter, I recommend you put money into a theater system. I have, do you have a theater system? Yeah, I have a, a private IMAX home theater. Oh, IMAX, yeah, Peter, I recommend you get an IMAX theater. You can afford it. You're a billionaire. Yeah, I, mean, I might do that. Yeah, Peter puts money into an IMAX theater at his house. His any sketch release, he gets sent to his mail. He gets a nice box set. He gets his merch. You know what I'm saying? And, and what? Yeah. I even, do I get a free copy of the movie? Yeah, Peter, you get a free copy of the movie. You get a free copy of the 4K Blu-ray box set. And you get your all the merch sent to you. All the merch will be sent to you, obviously. Yeah. Obviously. 
Well, people buy the merch, yeah. People will buy the merch, but not everyone will buy the the, the, the clothes. The t-shirts and sweaters, people, not everyone will buy that. But the the posters, I'll have it come with the mugs. Most people will buy that, but the, the, the clothing, not everyone will buy that, obviously. But I'll probably sell t-shirts, sweaters, tubes, and like hats with the merch. Like nice Zanus merch if you want. You can do that if you want. And that's good enough for the merch. You don't, I'm like, pure eye, you can sell swords and all stuff. No, that's too expensive. I'm not going to sell that. That's crazy, I'm saying, yeah. And Peter has to help me sign uh, the actor's second year, the stars. And once we sign them, we take them out to Wednesday night at Boston Pizza. You can pick what meal you want here, guys, but don't order a bunch of food. I don't want you wasting my money. And after that, you party up at your condo for like five and a half hours, five, six hours. And the actors go home. And that's the beginning of the actor's fame for Zanus. I'm tired. Yeah. That's the beginning of the actor's fame for Zanus, obviously. That's the beginning of their fame. Now I'll talk about the transformation topic because the red really pisses me off. Yo, Ivan, keep eating your salad when you work weekdays. I'm going to eat my salad tomorrow. I'm going to eat my salad Friday. Obviously, and it doesn't hurt to work out four days a week. Obviously. Some days, sometimes I'll take maybe four days off because I'm lazy like I did this week. But I'll go on a trouble tonight, go two days, then take two days off. And keep eating healthy food like your chicken and your salad, Ivan. It's very important that you eat that. You're checking yourself. It's very important that you eat that, obviously. And you work out. Do a one-hour walk on a uh, fast walk on a treadmill. Burn a good 250, 230 calories a day. And you'll, uh, by the end of the month, I will lose like seven, six, six to eight pounds. Sarah? Yeah. The Robin Rats face pisses me off. In a couple weeks, I'm going to ask a chick to go for you on a date. I'm going to do it. I'll be nervous, but I'll do it, obviously. Obviously. And I'm going to what? Somebody tells me she might reject me, though. If she rejects me, I'm done with the Coco Free Chicks. I'm going to move on to, to the St. Hubert's. And uh, next Thursday, I'm going to go to St. Hubert's. I'm going to have a bite to eat there. Because my check on freezes next Thursday, right? So I'm going to go to St. Hubert's and have a bite to eat there. And I'll flirt with the uh, bartender or waitress there. And I'll, 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 my second the second time I come, the third time I come, I'll ask if they want to hang out with me. I'll go to Dinty's too. At Elmer Bar, yeah. The Robin and the Red's face, she pisses me off. Robin in her face. She pisses me off. She's a bad girl, man, that chick, man. She's fucking bad. I see the way she walks, the way she acts. She's a bit slutty, Ozzy. Yeah, this chick is bad, man. She's a bad girl, yeah. You want to get the just attention on her, you got to be the bad boy. You can't be a nice guy with her. If you play that, she'll finish last and she'll crush you. She'll, she's she's going to crush me. I told you, I, I don't do I don't do dates. I already told you, I, mean, I don't do dates. You know what I'm saying? And you're 31 years old. I'm not going to I'm not gonna hang out with a 31-year-old guy, Ivan. She crushes me some more. I feel like I told you. That's why I'm not going to ask for number ever again. I'm moving on. She's her loss. She gets what she deserves, obviously. There you go. And if she's mad, it's, if Emmanuel's mad, it's her loss. She fucking rejected me, hence whose fault is it? It's your fault. It's your fucking fault. Oh, Ivan's using me, yeah. So if 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 what? So if you if you were N, which you're not, don't hate me, and you had a husband who's Y, and some guy and I asked you on a date, obviously. Obviously. And you took off as queen with your husband who's Y, obviously. Would you choose me over your husband who's Y? No, you wouldn't. Would you sign me to a one fifty three dollar note? No, you wouldn't. You wouldn't. You would you give me? Would you give me fifty thousand a fifty thousand dollar gift card? You wouldn't give me shit. And when I do that, you think I'm using you because she's crazy. Another reason why I think I'm using them because they know when I have sex with them, I'm constantly running away. That's why they think I'm using them, obviously. Because every time I have sex with Ivan, he runs away. Yeah, those are two reasons why the chicks think I'm using them. One because they're not gonna live with they're not gonna live the the, 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 the billionaire life. Okay, don't hate me. You know what I'm saying. And they also know that when they have sex with me, I run away. That's why they think I'm using them. But to, 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 that way, you don't think you're using them. You could give them a, a, a gift card. Like a $20,000, $15,000 gift card if you want. To help them out a little bit. But if you think I'm going to give you like two hundred k, you're crazy. I'm not going to give you that. You rip me off. You can help them out a little bit. Give them like a nice $10,000, $10,000 gift card. It's good enough, obviously. We help them out. That's how you know I'm a nice man. But I told you, if I get a girlfriend, which I most likely will, 
especially when they lose the weight, obviously, they're all gonna they're all, they're all gonna what? They're all gonna force me to choose. I have to choose between me or Rijo. Yeah, I'm choosing Rijo. I'm not choosing you or Rijo. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Ivan, Fortress kind of, Ivan, what we look like when you lose the weight, I told you, like Jared Leto. You know the way Jared Leto looks? Yeah, I look like that, except take away the beard. I'll be handsome as fuck. You know what I'm saying? I come to work, everyone sees, I have my nice clothes, everyone sees how much more handsome I look. I lost the weight, I took my headshots. You see Emmanuel staring at me, oh my god, I'm a fucking idiot. Ivan, man, Ivan's good at this game, he's not a bad boy. Fuck, man, I'm an idiot, yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I might throw her a little bit, let's see if she, she shows signs that she likes me. If she still sounds like me, I'll ask her on dating. If she says no the second time, I am done with you. I'm going to go for another chicken. It's your loss. Anyways, this video is Iron Man on Sonic Pizza. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I talked about my Scotch's company and Zanus and a bit about the translation topic. Iron Man, I'm signing out. Peace. Bye, guys.